Did they order an EEG for you? Let's talk today about EEGs. Who do we order it for? How do we do it? What things you should do prior to the test day? And how do we interpret the results? So the EEG measures the electrical activity of the brain. So we order it if we're suspecting an electrical activity problem of the brain, not with any brain pathology. So someone who has headaches, we suspect migraine, we don't order an EEG. Someone who has weakness, we suspect and multiple sclerosis or a stroke, we do not order an EEG. It's only ordered to check for abnormal electrical activity of the brain. So the day before the EEG, we ask the patient to be sleep deprived because the sleep deprivation usually brings out seizure activity and is done at a neurologist's office in a clinic. Typically, we put stickers on the scalp and we measure the, the potential difference between two points and therefore we uh, record the seizure activity. So the EEG could be normal. Just because it's normal, it does not mean that the patient does not have seizure. We treat the patient, we do not treat the EEG. EEG usually help us to confirm seizure disorder if it is abnormal or to localize it or to give us a pattern for certain diseases. But just because it's normal, it does not mean that the patient does not have seizure. So we treat the patient and we do not treat the EEG. Thank you.